Hello and welcome to Hands on DynamoDB for Developers by James Cross and I'm the Head of Digital at Calibri Digital. So like I said, my name's James Cross. I'm a certified AWS Solutions Architect. I've got more than 10 years experience of designing and implementing Java applications. And really in the past five years, I've been focusing on cloud native applications, particularly serverless. And I've got a speciality in, in serverless web services and big data applications, particularly on the AWS cloud. So rest assured, you're in good hands. So let's jump in and have a look at what we're going to cover in this course. So what are we going to learn? Well, we're going to start with a good understanding of the data model of DynamoDB and compare NoSQL, document stores, and traditional relational applications. Next, we're going to work together to build a simple DynamoDB powered application. We're then going to move on to build a more complicated application and use that as a way to understand query fundamentals, the query DSL of DynamoDB and the difference between queries, scans, and indexes. Get how we can scale out DynamoDB to build hyperscale web applications. Next, we're going to build a data cache with DynamoDB and leverage DynamoDB's TTL feature. Then we're going to look at how we can get data out of DynamoDB in real time using streams. Uh, and lastly, how we can create ACID transactions on DynamoDB. So plenty for us to focus on. Now, some basic programming knowledge is assumed. I'm not going to teach you how to code in this course, but if you've programmed in any high level programming language, you won't have any trouble following along. In terms of prerequisites, well, really, like I said, some level of prior experience in a high level programming language. And of course, you're going to need a computer. And if you want to follow the code examples and actually build stuff yourself, you're going to need an AWS free tier account and obviously a connection to the internet. And you'll also want to install the AWS CLI on your computer and you're going to want to install Visual Studio Code or some other equivalent text editor. So what are our goals for the course? Well, hopefully by the time you've watched this course, you'll come away with a good understanding of NoSQL and how it differs to a traditional data model. Hopefully you'll understand how DynamoDB helps us to build cloud scale, hyperscale applications for the web. We're going to put the fundamentals of DynamoDB into practice. We're going to learn how we can use things like secondary indexes for greater query flexibility, we're going to understand how we can accelerate the performance of DynamoDB further with DAX. Uh, we're going to build a data cache using TTL, and hopefully you'll understand as well how to export data with streams and create ACID transactions. Everything you need to get started with DynamoDB. Enough of the introductions, let's jump right into the content. <laughs> 